Okay guys, so I just read this article um, about an 18 year old kid who had developed a Ma uh, an app for like MacBook Pros, Airs, whatever, and uh, the whole purpose of this app was just to allow people to upload photos to Instagram from their MacBooks, uh, which I'm shocked that didn't already exist, um, especially, um, you know, one from Instagram or Facebook, uh, I guess, since they now own it. Um, so anyways, yeah, he was forced to shut it down. Um, Facebook, Instagram sent him a bunch of, uh, or at least a couple, um, uh, emails, you know, kind of cease and desist, uh, this needs to be taken down immediately type things, and the kid, you know, he's just a kid, he's about to go to uh, uh, UC Berkeley, I think uh, it was. Um, anyways, yeah, so he, the kid freaks out, and he shut it down, because he's afraid of getting uh, sued, uh, rightfully so. But when I first read this article, I was outraged. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm an open source guy. Obviously, you know, there's issues with pirated material. If someone makes like a, a game, you know, a lot of work and money goes into making a big, you know, AAA title. So if you pirate that, you know, maybe you don't have the right to do that. That's definitely, you know, not really a gray area. Um, unless there's like some really shady stuff with distribution or something, maybe it's not available in your country, then maybe you can make an argument for that. But uh, that's opening up a whole other can of worms. But when I first read it, I was outraged. Uh, I was like, hey, you know, this kid is uh, innovating. He's, you know, there's obviously a demand for it. He made like $6,000 already uh, just charging $5 for this app. And it's not a replacement for Instagram. All it does is allow people to use Instagram more. Um, so at first I was definitely on the side of the kid, but then as I read some of the comments, people actually made some really interesting points about not only did Facebook spend, you know, a billion dollars on Instagram, uh, you know, acquiring it. So they do have a little bit of a say in, you know, how that platform goes down. Um, but allowing it on platforms other than mobile uh, could definitely open them up to not only security issues, but also quality control and use issues. Um, and by allowing people to upload whole files of photos, you might kind of get what people call the MySpace effect, uh, where it just becomes a site for memes and, you know, people uploading Reddit photos, and it, it could just really screw up the quality and the look they're going for. Uh, so after reading that, I actually did have a little bit of sympathy for uh, Facebook and Instagram, um, especially after paying a billion dollars for Instagram. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm still a little torn on it. I definitely don't think they should have handled it in the way that they did. They definitely should have reached out to the kid and, and said, you know, hey, uh, we definitely like, you know, where your head's at. You know, da, da da da. Maybe you hit us up in a couple of years and we'll give you a job. Something along those lines. But it just, I think it's bad PR if nothing else for them to just say, hey, cut it out. We don't like you, you know, improving our. Um, we don't like you improving our system, making us look bad, and offering uh, an option that people clearly want. Because you selling it for five dollars a pop, you were able to make six thousand dollars in not that long of a time span. So clearly, there's a desire for this. So they should have they should have definitely handled it a little bit differently. But uh, I'm curious to see what you guys think. You know, please leave some comments below. Don't get too uh, nasty with it. But I understand. You know, people definitely. Uh, are passionate about open source software and people being able to contribute to that software and I always kind of think about it in terms of like a car when I think about open source uh, software it's like you know if I buy a car like I have a Ford Mustang and all of a sudden I'm like hey you know it would be nice if I could make that car go faster and I go to open up the hood and some Ford guy runs by and like slaps my wrist. It's like, hey, stop, stop messing with that car that you bought. So I understand, um, you know, things are a little bit different when you're talking about digital technology because things can be so easily copied and shared. Um, you know, when you're really not paying for Instagram, so then that makes it a little bit more of a gray area about ownership and yada yada yada. 
But uh, yeah, like I said, I want to know what you guys think because I was honestly, my mind was completely changed by just reading the comments. So I am curious uh, to know what your guys' perspective or take is uh, on open source software and where the, you should draw that line, um, you know, about ownership and who can get under the hood and tinker with things. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and please subscribe.